Hey guys, do you like books about Paris? Do you like books about history? What about books about books or antiques? Do you like a little bit of mystery and suspense? A little bit of romance with a little bit of magic in it? Then I definitely think Illuminated is a book for you. I read this uh, last week and I basically read it on my train rides and finished it off at home. It is by Erica Orloff and the tagline I guess you could say is their love was written in the stars. This is front cover and this is the back. I'm going to read you the synopsis and I'm going to tell you my thoughts about the book. Some loves are not meant to last. Like Romeo and Juliet, Heloise and Abelard were doomed from the start and their romance was destined to pass into history. Yet when 16 year old Callie Martin discovers a diary hidden with an antique book their story and hers takes on another life. For the diary leads Callie to the brilliant and handsome August, who is just as mysterious as, as the secret hidden within the pages. The attraction between the two is undeniable, and as the truth behind the diary and that of Heloise and Abelard's ancient romance is unrevealed, sorry, unveiled, their romance becomes all-consuming. With a love, a love that burns as bright as a shooting star flame out, all will these star-crossed lovers be able to defy history. Fantastic blurb, I might add, definitely got me into it. And those things I mentioned before are my buzzwords. Um, I love books about Paris, I love history. Uh, I'm not too sure if this is actual made up history or if it's actually real. I didn't really bother to check, but it definitely convinced me that it was real. She made me believe that um, these documents existed. She made me believe in the story of Heloise and Abelard and their son. Mysterious A. Um, her writing was fantastic. The pacing was uh, phenomenal, I guess you can say. It was really great. Uh, I found this book to be a breeze to read. I, I loved it. I really did. Um, it was a fairly clean read. And by clean, I mean they didn't have too much um, sex and mentions of things like that. They did have some very cute makeout scenes and um, little scenes that helped the characters kind of evolve um, independently and as a couple, which I really appreciated because it does have romance in it, so you're going to get a little bit of kissing action, and I just thought it was sweet. Um, and some swoon worthy moments as well. So if you are looking for something a little bit cleaner, then I definitely would recommend Illuminated too. And if you're looking for a straight up one on one romance without any love triangles, I will say that the adults, um, their story does involve a love triangle of sorts, but it's not reflected on the children, I don't think, so, or well, children, and um, teenagers. So, um, oh, I, don't, I think they're, I would definitely say this is a new adult book. I, I've, I think they're. Yeah, she's 16 and I think August is around the same age. So they're a little bit older to me, but feels like an older teenage book. Um, I'm not quite sure what the defining lines is actually, but we'll go with that. I love the atmosphere in this book. It was fantastic. The setting, um, we start in New York and we travel to Paris with Callie and August in search of the truth behind the diary and the secret of a which I found fantastic. I love books that travel across different continents. So it's kind of like going on a little holiday. Um, you don't get to see much of Paris because a lot of the time when they're in Paris they're speaking to people and investigating, but you do have these quiet moments where you get a view through the character's eyes and it's really just relaxing and it's gives you that warm feeling and you really just connect with the character in those moments. I definitely wanted to read this book um, when I had candles on. It was a perfect book uh, f for a nice cold day or a train ride or just to immerse yourself in the story. It's very short but it's, it packs a punch guys, it really does. I think this book is a great exploration of love in all its forms and how people come together through magical experiences. 
uh, sometimes you know people do come together and they find love through the most simplest forms and I found that the way that everybody came together and the, the way that the story ended really left me satisfied and really gave me hope and, and it refreshed my love of romance and it refreshed my love of experience and love and life and the truth and I thought that was a very just I just loved it. I really did guys. I loved it. I'm reading my notes from the computer. I had to write notes. <laughs> um, I really love the evolving relationship between the characters, Callie and August for instance. Their relationship evolved quite nicely and it that did have its chaotic moments. What is a life or a romance without chaotic moments? Um, I also like the react like the behavior and the reactions between Callie and her uncles. They have a very loving and understanding relationship and really her uncles have um, played a big part in her life so when she becomes a little bit more chaotic um, it's interesting to see her uncle's reaction and and how that pans out. I think most importantly the biggest breakthrough um, for Callie relationship wise is her relationship with her father. Her father is a very self-absorbed distant man um, who even while he was with her mother he didn't really give it um, to bobs about her and really just sort of controlled her life and there's a situation that happens in this book that breaks that barrier and while it's not entirely you know happy go lucky everything's fine they are on their way and I think that if you are looking for a, a fantastic book um, especially about relationships and things like that I would yeah, definitely pick up Illuminated because it's it's a really good exploration of that as well. Another thing I really loved, um, and one of the biggest things I loved, is the connection between Callie, August, and A, who is the mysterious child of Heloise and Abelard, and how those two connect through history, and how their loves connect through history, and f their fears about um, because they've all they've all been through their parents relate like all seen, seen their parents relationships fall and crumble and you know, just sort of disintegrate and they've all had to deal with that and I think it's a really great it's, it's great to see that even through history some things do remain the same and some things will always connect us and bind us together as humans it doesn't matter whether it's in the 1930s or 2017 we're always going to be struggling with the same things and it's nice and refreshing to kind of feel that connection and know that we're not alone. And I feel that that was a really great, um, great prop for um, Callie and August because they came together, they understood each other, and they were also able to understand A a lot better through learning about his secrets and yeah. So overall, I definitely would suggest that you read this book. I loved it. I really did. I hope I haven't been holding this book in front of my face the whole time. I haven't been looking in the camera. But I love this book. I actually picked it off my shelf at whim. I went to my bookshelf and said, mm, okay, I'm just going to read whatever I pick up. I picked up this book and I'm so glad I did. I would definitely read it again. I will read it again. I know that for sure. I just it was fantastic guys and oh I also love these little quotes from A that you have at the top of the top of each chapter. For instance this one said I had a dream and this time the sun and the moon and eleven stars were blooming down on me. Touch the stars and dream of them A. And I think that just added to the romantic and sort of um, warm feeling of this novel. It also added a lot of mystery to it as well. So I really did enjoy Erica Olaf's writing style and I hope you do too. If you have read this book let me know what your thoughts are on it. Um, also if you're thinking about picking it up definitely do. Um, again I probably think it's, it, yeah it's, it is definitely for the older people. I think probably about 16 and up um, just for the things that I mentioned but you can read it if you like. It's pretty clean and yeah. So that is my review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that I was able to articulate my words today. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye guys.